time for this week's Hope Rises, how a tragic situation uh, led to hope in bringing awareness uh, to something very important. Hope, uh, uh, Kate, rather, with us again. Kate, tell us who we're seeing. Hi, Chris. We are here with Kara Oliver Perez. And like you had mentioned, this is not a great topic to talk about. It is a harder topic to talk about. We're talking about child loss. But there is hope in Kara Oliver Perez's story. And that's why we brought her on today, because she has turned her tragedy into hope for others here in Western New York and beyond. So I'll let Kara talk about her story and kind of how she's turned that into some beautiful brightness. Oh, why, well, thank you, Kate. And thank you so much for having me here today. You know, it was a whirlwind, uh, you know, back, I was pregnant. I found out very early I was pregnant. Of course, like every married couple, excited to learn that we were expecting our first child, mm -hmm. uh, who was a son. And um, his name is Kylo, Kylo Ren. We're big Star Wars fans. <laughs> Kylo, <love> Kylo, <laughs> Kylo Ren, and you know, the name actually fit him pretty well. And so, it, you know, our story turned for the worse, actually, in September. I was having a lot of back pain. I learned very early in my pregnancy, I had a two centimeter fibroid. And if anyone's familiar with fibroids, they are usually non-cancerous cells that grow within the uterine wall or uterine lining. And um, just quickly, it turned our, you know, dream into a nightmare. Um, I started, you know, having a lot of complications from the fibroid. I was getting really, really sick. But you know, you power through, you keep pushing and persevering. That fibroid went from two centimeters in May to 15 centimeters in September. And what ultimately happened was I went into preterm labor. Um, it was very painful. And that preterm labor resulted in me giving birth at home. It was a very uh, traumatic experience and trigger warning for our, our viewers out there who have experienced infant loss. It is very, very traumatic. Not only just on your body, but on your mental health, right? Um, our world was shattered. And when I thought, you know, that this nightmare was going to be over, it just exacerbated even more. I ultimately had to have the fibroid removed, an emergency, something called a myomectomy surgery, which is when they go in and they remove the fibroid. But mine's was within the lining of my uterus, meaning it was almost like a pimple within the uterus. So it was very dangerous. I was very sick. I was very ill during this time. And um, I want to shout out my amazing medical care team. Uh, I had a great care team out of Audubon Women's Health, as well as uh, Millard Filmer Suburban, Dr. Stacey Akers, as well as Dr. Ende Diallo. Had it not been for them, as well as my husband, Paul Perez, I would not be alive on this couch today. And, and Kara, really, um, it's not just about advocating for your health out there, for those who are listening, but also for providing hope to others by sharing your story, because people, when they hear a story, a lot of times they can get hope from that just by knowing that they're not alone in their scenario. Well, in our next half, hour uh, we're going to learn how care is doing that and uh, we're going to talk about how uh, these books are helping to uh, be the vehicle to make that happen. Kara thanks so much for being with us yeah. and sharing this with us. Thank you for having me.